from heavy hitters to long range to accuracy, the ACR is probably one of the most versatile weapons in any game, whether it be Ghost Recon Wildlands or Modern Warfare 2 or even Battlefield, if it's even in any of those games. This ACR is probably one of the most versatile weapons to use on the battlefield. And these are a few of the components that go into this weapon, and it's actually a quite a bit of stuff you can see here that you can actually customize with this weapon, and I will have to say that this is a weapon of choice because it's something that can utilize, be utilized at a long range, short range, or if you just want complete balance of the boat of the two, then you can easily get that with this weapon. What's going on all you Ghost Recon Wildland fans? I'm Predable60 here bringing you guys the next Ghost Recon Wildland gun review that I have been doing and I hope you all have been enjoying the previous episodes for I have been enjoying presenting these to you all and today we're going to be looking at the ACR trying to see just how effective this weapon is and to see if this is, might be the weapon of choice for you. This is one of the weapons you can get off the start but you just have to go a little bit into the other area. I think it, I want to say it's in the... Pakara area. I'm not very sure exactly where I got this thing from. I probably should be doing an, a location every time I do a weapon and show you guys where to find these weapons at. Should probably go along and do that. But I may end up just doing that when I start talking more about the customizations you can do with these weapons and the best setup for these different weapons so that you guys can see where to find these specific weapons and that way it can be more useful to you guys to watch these videos and actually get an idea of where all these weapons are located on the map. Now, of course, the first thing I want to talk about is the accuracy for this weapon, but I can't talk about accuracy unless I include the range because, of course, the distance that you are from your enemy is going to also play an effect on how um, accurate this weapon is because, you know, being a certain distance after a while, your weapon's going to start being inaccurate and you're going to start to see a big change with your accuracy. Like right here, I could have just probably not been able to see this guy as good through the building and that's probably why I wasn't able to hit this guy spot on. So, you know, even shooting through buildings has an effect on your accuracy because if you can't see a guy, if you think you got the shot and you really don't, then that can also play an effect and you might think you have it lined up. So that's what I'm saying. Like even the iron sights on these weapons can also have a huge difference on the play style of your availability because what you're going to want to do a lot of the time with weapons with iron sights when you first get it, if you have no other attachments or don't want to use any other attachments for whatever reason, then the best thing I would suggest is to use third person in order to get the best accurate shot if you can. Now, of course, this being an assault rifle, the accuracy on this weapon, uh, it may be 80 meters out, would probably be the best for the most amount of accuracy that you're going to get. Now, if you probably put something like a red dot sight on here with a long barrel and then a good scope like an ACOG scope or something, you'll probably definitely get much longer shots with this weapon suppressors do have an effect on the range it not a huge effect but it does play an effect on the range so you have to keep that in mind this weapon has completely been used with the silencer on it so that's one of the other things i want to point out that of course i wasn't trying to be a long distance person with this thing and i really didn't want to deal with too many people at once because i'm trying to utilize the effectiveness of this weapon so i kept this silence just so that you guys can see the effectiveness and how close you have to be for it to be the most effective that you can get it for it being in its base form with no attachments on it now as far as damage output again i might have mentioned this in my last video but the damage output that it has on vehicles i don't think it really applies to actual people but i would have to say that if you do increase the damage to done to vehicles on any weapon or just in general because your damage output is just one big thing it's not like this weapon has this much amount of damage and this weapon has this much amount of damage once you upgrade your vehicle damage destruction with using an actual assault rifle or whatever weapon you're using it's just gonna go all to one thing it's not gonna be you know separate things it's all just one big damage output so using something like this having a 20 magazine uh, in here is just probably not going to be the best option to take out vehicles with because you're going to find yourself reloading more than you are shooting and you know if you are reloading too much in this game i realize that you will die i mean people run up on you it's almost like they know that you're reloading because you're not shooting so they feel like if no if there's no gunfire let me go check out what's going on you know and you might actually be reloading when they decide to come check out the situation and you're gonna, you can end up dead because i'm getting shot from behind right here now, of course, that's because I have my back turned, but, you know, if I were to be reloading 
in the middle of him shooting me in the back and I didn't move into that house, I'd have most likely been dead. It's just that, it's that easy, it's that simple. So, this is another one of those weapons you want to kind of use at a d good distance because it's so accurate. And, I mean, of course, you don't want to hold down and just spray the entire clip because by doing that, you're definitely looking for failure. You're definitely going to be finding a lot of recoil with weapons like this. And, you know, again, it's just an assault rifle, so of course it's not going to have the best uh, recoil rating. It's just, it's, it's always going to be bouncing pretty badly. And even if this is the ACR, accurate as it is, you know, you just have to have certain attachments on these weapons to keep them steady, you know. And in any game like this, like Battlefield even, you have to kind of burst fire your weapons at longer range targets so that you make contact. Because spraying someone down from a long distance, you're going to be missing a lot and reloading a lot and not doing anything to your opponent. Now, as far as actual vehicle damage, it's just, like I said, you can probably do, even if you max out your vehicle damage output, even using the ACR, you could probably do a good bit of damage. But, like I said, it'd be more effective if you have like a 30 round magazine in here, if you have a 50 round magazine in here, because... That's going to be your best option if you want to take out a vehicle because 20 rounds is not going to cut it. Like I said, you'll just find yourself reloading more than anything else and you'll end up dying in the process more than likely, especially if you're in a heavy gunfight. If you're looking to take out a vehicle quickly and you want to execute everybody within that area, then of course, like I said, you're going to have to find a bigger magazine just so that you can actually put more bullets into your target rather than trying to reload it and get ammo put into the magazine and all that yada yada it's just a lot easier a lot smoother gameplay with the bigger magazine you won't have to reload as much and if you're used to reloading as much you probably find yourself doing that anyway but you know having a bigger magazine really does play a huge effect on the vehicle damage in this game in my opinion just because like i said you won't have to sit there pressing x non-stop but thank you all for watching this video. If you all have enjoyed this episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands Gun Review, then go ahead and subscribe because we're going to have a lot more of these gameplays coming your way, a lot more gun reviews coming your way. If you guys have any comments or questions or anything that I might have missed or should have went over, let me know that in the comment section below. I'd like to hear your opinion on that. And for those of you who have anything else to add or want to just show your support even, you go ahead and share this video and like it because I always appreciate seeing you guys who ain't actually enjoy this series and anything that I do in general because I don't want to bore anybody, you know? This isn't something I just want to, okay, guys, this is what I'm doing. You know, I, I want to be engaging with you guys. So to see that you guys are actually talking back to me, I try to get back to everybody. And those of you who know that I actually do try and talk to you guys, and there you go. I, I appreciate you guys showing your support and stand with me this long. But on that note, this has been your broadcast, and have a nice day. Unpredictable is out.